Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It feels like it has been forever since I picked up this camera. How are you all doing? I hope you're all well. I have got such an exciting few days ahead. But today I have, oh, it is literally now, what time is it? Quarter to nine. We left the house at seven this morning from Leeds, me and my mom. And we've had meetings back to back all day and Ariana came with management. I thought it was gonna be a simple day, but it has been, we've met five different managers and my head is scrambled out more than ever. This is actually why I'm dressed in like a suit blazer. I thought, you know, I got very smart for today. Now staying at Ariana's, where I will actually be moving in in a few weeks, which is so exciting. And um, we've decided I'm gonna move into here until I can get my own place and something comes available that I like. So I'm moving in here, obviously, why would I not with my best friend? So tomorrow I am starting to get my glow up done. I haven't actually had my nails done since before the villa. At the minute I'm wearing like stick on nails. I mean, how cool are they from my nail girl? But tomorrow, I'm gonna get my nails done, the acrylics will be back on. I'm having my hair coloured because my hair is disgusting right now, it's a disgrace. And I've taken my extensions out. On Sunday, I went out and I was like, I cannot go out with my extensions because they'd gone orange in the villa. They'd gone like, not a little bit orange, they'd gone bright orange. So, I took out the extensions on Saturday night. Guys, I use pliers and cut my hair off by accident. So now I've got little tufts all over my head where my hair has snapped off. Great. I'm not actually gonna have my extensions put back in until next week because on Sunday it is the Love Island reunion. So I've got a nice blazer dress and I thought it'd be nice to wear my hair up in a bun. So I'm not actually gonna have the extensions put back in until after the show, just so that we can scrape my hair open, you know, you can't see the bonds. So tomorrow I've got my little glow up happening. And then Sunday is the Love Island reunion. So I'm getting my hair and makeup done in the morning in Manchester. Then I will be getting a train down to London. And then it's a Love Island reunion show on the night. So that's so exciting. I'm gonna see everyone again. Is it Derek? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Hands up if you was meant to get up early and go to the gym with Ariana, but stayed in bed. I need to get up now. I've got my nail appointment at nine. I currently don't even have a car. My car went back when I was in Love Island. I'm having to get taxis everywhere, getting people to drive me around which hasn't been like this since I was like 17 and I learned to drive. So yeah, my task this week is to get a car sorted. I love these stick-ons. They obviously, look at them, they are amazing. However, I've missed my acrylics. Like these are so like flimsy and I can't wait. I might even switch it up and get like a pointy tip today. Like, I am obsessed with nails, like it makes me happy. Like my nail appointment, I am excited for every single two weeks. Like I can't wait for that day to come. And today the day has come and I've not been in probably nine weeks now, probably maybe even 10. So I can't wait. Also, in Love Island, so many people apparently was asking Ariana where my pajamas are from, which is so funny because before I went in, I wear pajamas like Disney pajamas every night. Like I do not own one pair of sexy pajamas, not one. So before I went in Love Island, Ariana was like, Mary, you cannot take these pajamas. Like you're gonna have to get some sexy ones. And I was like, but I was like, that's just not me. Like. I'm not sexy pajama person. She was like, Mary, but you're going on national television. Like, you cannot wear like Disney pajamas, or I will have like I love avocados or whatever on the front. Anyway, I went in, took my pajamas, and then these ones are actually from ISO at first. ISO at first kept giving me loads of pajamas, and apparently, so many people was saying where are my pajamas from. Normally, I'll get my pajamas from um, Primark. I get them from, I get some from ASOS, but they are quite expensive on there for pajamas. Or my best place, and now I'm going to say this, it's always made out of stock, but 
George as the George pajamas are the best pajamas. So yeah, Primark, ASOS, George are where you would find pajamas like this, but these ones are actually from ISO first. <laughs> I'm now on the way to get my hair done. Sort out this awful mop on my head that's disgusting. I'm in a taxi again because obviously we all know my situation. I do not have a car. How amazing are my nails? I'm so happy. They're literally amazing. She is the best. Jolly is quite literally the best in the world. We'll put it out there. So now I'm on my way to see my hair just to get this colour sorted. And then I think I've just got a chilled afternoon. So go home, have some lunch. I'm starving. I'm not even eating yet. Um, but yeah, I just had to show you the nails. Like, they are the best. I am back and I'm blonde again. I'm so happy. I haven't got, like, this weird tinge in my hair now of, like... Well, it wasn't blonde anymore, let's face it. It was, like, brown, orange, yellow. It were a concoction of colours. But now I'm back. It feels so weird having my hair out. So I obviously took my hair out on Saturday. My hair is in, a, it's a shit show, to be honest with you. Like, it, I've chopped it, I've chopped the hair off, it's literally got tufts everywhere. I mean, I'm nice and white and blonde again, and my nails, ah, I feel so much better already. I actually was meant to get my extensions put back in next week, but I'm thinking now, maybe I might leave them out for a little bit to try and give my hair a bit of a break, because, it is on its last legs, basically. It's really struggling. What do we think to the short hair? All natural. I'm obviously not gonna keep it like this, but maybe I should give my hair a break on the extensions and just wear clippings. I say this and then next week will come and I'll be like, nope, I definitely need to have my hair extensions put back in. But for now, I'm gonna embrace the short hair. That's what my extensions out, dry my hair takes five minutes, but my extensions in, I was stood there for half an hour. So I've got to weigh the pros and cons of this situation. My outfit for the reunion on Sunday, I'm wearing like a cream blazer, green bag, and then obviously I've had green nails, so just add a little bit of green, and maybe I'll wear a green necklace, I'm not sure yet. So that's why, that was the idea behind the green nails, basically. So, Sunday morning, obviously I'm going to be getting my hair and makeup done, then a train down to London, and then the reunion. I see everyone again. I haven't seen anyone, obviously, because everyone's down south. I'm the only one up in Leeds. Well, Leeds, Manchester. I've been in Manchester since I've come out of my isolation. So, I've not seen anyone. Nobody lives up here. Everyone is down south. Everyone's southerners but me. So, it'll be nice to see everyone and reunite. Such a good day today. I have a clock that I'm still in my gym clothes, even though I've not been to the gym. I kind of feel like I've been to the gym. You know, I've got my zip up on. My gym leggings. No one's ever gonna know. How would they know? Today is now Saturday night. Me and Ariana. Hi. Are ready. We're going out for our friend Sophie's birthday. Yes. So we're going to the Ivy Manchester. Mm -hmm. Um, we're not meant to be like having a real drinking night because I've got the reunion tomorrow. But well, no, 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 we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not. No. Maybe a few. Maybe just a few birthday yeah. drinks, but we've got a cake made. We've got we've a present. Got we've got some earrings with a letter S on. We've mm -hmm. got some balloons. We've got some balloons. Which we won't show you right now, because we was having a nap on the rug earlier today. Yeah, basically, where I'm moving into Ariana's apartment, she's just moved into last week, so we haven't got any sofas yet. Like, nothing is here, so we just keep laying on the rug on the floor. Yeah, this is where we napped. There are 24 balloons. So, Sophie was supposed to come here so we could give her a cake and her balloons before we went on a present, but she's decided she doesn't want to come here. She wants to meet us there. Yeah. Which is great, because I really want some cake before I went out. I've still got my hair in a bun, as I have no hair extensions in yet, so my hair is really, really, really short, um, which is not cute. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Tomorrow is obviously really exciting. It's a reunion. Holly for my makeup is coming at half past 10 in the morning. Hair is coming at 11. And then I'm leaving here at about half past 12. So I'll catch up with you in the morning. Hopefully I'm not going to be too hungover. No, you're not. I'm going to be responsible. She's yeah. going to be hungover. She's going to be fresh. Wish me luck for not getting drunk tonight. Willpower. <laughs> Willpower. Willpower. <laughs> morning, guys. So I am reunion ready. Hull has done my makeup and I have missed Holly doing my makeup so much. Like I'm okay at doing my own makeup, but Holly is just a different level. And then Will has been on the hair. We've gone for like a high bun. Obviously I can do this, but this morning I would have been so stressed. Um, trying to like do this hair, the makeup, knowing that it's for the reunion. So it's just better to get it done. And obviously I cannot do it this well. Real Bella Hadid vibe I feel like this hairstyle is. That was my inspo. My train is in about an hour. So I've got some food, get to the station. And then a quick two hours down there and then I'm going straight to the studio. So it is gonna be so exciting. I don't really know where I'm gonna get changed because I thought I was gonna to go to the hotel and then go to the studio but apparently i'm going straight to the studio so don't know i'm going to get changed i think i need to add some fake tan where am i going to do this not sure i a few of the guys yesterday about seeing them again and i'm just so excited it's gonna be so much fun and then no doubt we'll end up going out somewhere afterwards even though i am a little bit hungover today didn't quite stick to the no drinking last night i don't feel that bad, but I can definitely tell I had a drink last night, which is never the best when I promised I wasn't going to do that. Drinking tonight really isn't what I want to be doing. So maybe I'll have one glass or two for the nerves. I'm a bit nervous, to be honest. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm nervous, but I am a little bit nervous. Hopefully I can like sneak off to the dressing room or something and film the last little bit and show you guys my outfit. But obviously, this is my hair and makeup. What do we think? I feel very snatched right now, which is always a bonus. Ready in time for the reunion! Woo! It's gonna be so much fun. So guys, I am officially the worst YouTuber in the world ever. I know it, I know it, I know it. I did not film last night. I got to the reunion. I seen everyone I've not seen in ages. You know, I'm talking to everyone. And if I'm perfectly honest, I forgot. Point blank, forgot. To got out my camera so that's annoying but i forgot and there's nothing i can do about it other than apologize so i'm just in london now i woke up this morning a bit of a hangover because i went out afterwards and you know you just want to have healthy food like fruit and you just crave like a little bit of health so i got like a liter bottle of orange juice grapes melon and raspberries and I have to leave my train now, so when am I going to eat this? Like when you go shopping when you're hungry and you just come out of everything. That's what happened to me this morning, so that was childish. But guys, I'm really sorry that I didn't bring you along last night. I thought like that was the whole point of the vlog. And then, yeah, I fell at the last hurdle. Seeing everyone again was so nice. Love Island is finished. It's done. It's over and out. I'm going to bring this vlog to a close because I do need to go catch my train right now. And... It's 45 minutes away in a taxi, which isn't great. I'm hungover, I'm gonna have to get a 45 minute taxi to Euston and then on a two hour train back to Manchester. Not ideal, but thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Even though the ending was a bit of a flop, I do apologize. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.